Hi, I'm Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. There we go. Various and sundry little pieces off of there. This used to say on and off. I don't think it says much anymore. Pretty good burn mark there. But it's not either one of those wires that created it because if it burns the steel that badly, to build up a bead on it. Would have taken that little wire and just smoked it. Wouldn't be anything left of it. That looks like an arc from a welder. Hmm. Interesting. Well, this thing is just a pass-through. White connected to white in a power leg, green connected to the frame, and black connected to the black. So somebody had something hooked up so that when the grinder was plugged in, they had other things hooked in too. Maybe a light or a fan or a pump. So when the switch turned on, this receptacle turned on too. 
in this little jumper wire which we're going to eliminate because we don't need a little jumper wire in there and we don't need this extra outlet coming out the back of it either So the white wire connects to the red wire. Black wire gets broken by the switch and it's just a simple circuit. This extra receptacle was just wired in as an extension of the plug. Black and white were tied into the black and white on the power cord. And when you turned on this switch, it powered up that receptacle too. It's got a strain relief on it, but it's not watertight. You would think you'd want to have a watertight connector. Evidently, they didn't think so. Having a strain relief on the wire isn't a bad thing. Not having it watertight means it really didn't serve the purpose that was required in this kind of situation. So we'll put this into the extra materials again. Fifteen amp, one hundred and twenty five volt AC, ten amp, two hundred and fifty volt AC, three quarter horsepower, one hundred twenty to two forty volt AC. They don't have enough strength to tighten or loosen the screw, but once you get the screw loosened, they do a wonderful job of gripping it while you take it out. That screwed over the slot. It's very shallow.
They're also nice for putting it back in, especially in a difficult to reach spot. But they won't work around a corner. I suppose you could probably fabricate one or get one fabricated for yourself. That would be at a 90 degree bend at the end. But you'd have to have some kind of universal joint so that you could drive it. Okay. Now Bob was asking about this particular one. This one has got a little bar that sticks out there. When I twist it to the right, that brings the bar in line with the other two. Now it's kind of short. We'll see if we can get rip into this thing. When I push on it, it grips a hold of the screw. And hold it. Then take that off, spins around. I knew I'd come up with a purpose for that. Let's just give this thing a test. White wire to red wire. Black wire to black wire. Okay, we're just going to plug this into the wall and see if the motor starts. That way I'll have a good hold on the disconnect. Well, we have a working grinder. How do you like that? Okay, quarter after ten. Time to stop for the evening. We'll check out this switch tomorrow. But right now, this grinder is a runner.
you have any suggestions for a new video, questions about today's video, or any of the other videos on the channel, just drop a note in the comments. You know I read them all. Thanks for watching. This video is not to be viewed by anyone under the age of 13 in the U.S. or 16 in the European Union without the express written permission of the parents or legal guardians of the underage person. Such written permission must be on file at the local government entity in charge of enforcing the rules and regulations established by the FTC. Anyone violating these terms is admitting by default that they hold harmless the owners and operators of this channel. Any and all questions should be addressed to your local branch of the FTC.